comment banks can save teachers a huge amount of time and work when giving feedback to their students. Did you know that Google Classroom has a built-in comment bank feature that will not only allow you to insert comments, but also use them across different assignments? Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle Rochford and I create videos to help teachers, students, and parents with online school. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the comment bank feature in Google Classroom. It allows teachers to provide quick feedback on student work. You can store frequently used comments and easily access common feedback points all in one place. So never again are you going to have to type the same comment over and over or copy and then paste it from another document. Why don't we go ahead and open up Google Classroom and we're going to take a look at some of the different ways that we can use um, this Google Classroom comment bank feature. So in order to find it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my classwork page um, and I'm going to um, pick one of my assignments here. This is my uh, demonstration account. So we have some pretend students who have handed in some pretend work for us uh, today. All right, so once we open up that assignment, we have our list of students um, as well as the work that they have or have not handed in. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, the work by this student who has handed some in. So Heidi Elizabeth has handed in a document here and I'm going to click on that. Um, and that will bring up our grading tool where we can see um, the document and the content of that document that the, the student has submitted. Now, in order to find our comment bank, uh, we're actually going to go over to the right hand side of our page. Um, and um, automatically what is brought up is our, our list of files, so whatever the student has handed in, as well as the grading portion, a rubric if you've attached it, and comments. Um, but if you take a look at this panel right here, you'll notice that the second icon down, if you hover over it, it says comment bank. Okay, And when you click on that, it will bring up comments that you have already added to your comment bank. Um, or if you haven't gotten started with it yet, then it will be empty, okay? But this little icon here opens up your comment bank. Now, from here, we can do a number of things, okay? So we can, obviously we're going to want to add some comments, all right, and there's a few ways that we can do that. The easiest way um, is by clicking on Add to Bank up at the top here. Okay, and so if we click on add to, uh, add to Bank, it's going to bring up a dialog box where we're able to add uh, a comment or multiple comments um, to add to our bank. Okay, so if we're just going to add one comment, um, we will just, let's just type in, um, let's see, you're doing a great job. Okay, and then we would add. Okay, and you'll notice that that comment now shows in our list of different comments that we have here. Okay, but say I wanted to add a number of them at the same time. I can go through that same process. Okay, um, let's see, great work. Um, then I'm going to start a new line. Okay, and uh, let's see, fantastic job. Maybe we'll do one more. Um, Keep up the good work, all right? And then we're going to add, okay? And what you'll notice is that each of those came in as a separate comment because I had them on the different lines, okay? So if you want to keep the comment together, um, you just write it as um, a full comment, okay? But as soon as you have a line break, that's going to add a new comment for you. Okay, so we have a number of uh, different comments that have been um, added to the bank already. 
Now, another way that we can do that is say um, in our document, we've already gone through and we've already made some, some comments um, for one student, and we know that we're probably going to be using similar comments in other documents. We can go to the comment, the uh, three daughter snowman um, icon in the uh, upper right hand corner there for more options. Okay, and you'll notice that one of the options here is to add to comment bank. Okay, and you can click on that and it will add that particular comment directly to your comment bank so it will be saved. You can access it in other assignments as well. So a number of ways that we can um, add comments to the comment bank. Now, once we have some comments in there, how do we use it to um, add to assignments that we're grading or taking a look at? Um, well, actually it is nice and easy. Okay, say for example, um, I wanted to talk about this section right here. I'll highlight it, click the uh, plus icon here that says add comment. Okay, um, and one way that I can do it is I can go over to my comment bank and I can copy the comment to the clipboard that I want and then paste it into um, the, the dialog box here. Okay. Um, or another way to do it is I can use um, a shortcut to add comments. Okay. Um, so in order to uh, use a, a shortcut, it's a really neat, neat thing. What you do is you add so the, the pound symbol, hashtag symbol, um, whatever people are calling it these days. <laughs> um, and if you add that, what you'll notice is that there are a listing of your, uh, your different comments from the bank there. Okay, um, So you can choose directly from there. Okay, So that's another way that you can add it using that, um, that neat little, little trick there. Okay, So why don't we just, I'm going to demonstrate copying. I'm going to copy this one. And then we're going to paste it. I'm uh, on a Mac, so I'm doing Command V um, on to paste um, on a um, a PC. It would be, I believe, Control V uh, to paste. Okay, and then we're going to post the comment. And done. Okay, nice and easy. Now um, you might be wondering, okay, well, does this transfer then over to other assignments? And yes, it does. Okay, so this comment bank is accessible to you in whatever assignment you might be accessing. Okay, so let's go back to um, our classwork page here and I'm going to, I'm going to choose a different assignment. Okay, so let's open up a different assignment here. All right, and we have a different document that has been uploaded. So we'll take a look at this. All right, there we go. It's all uploaded. I'm going to go once again to my comment bank and notice that all of those same comments present themselves in this assignment as well. Okay, so um, you can access them no matter um, what assignment that you have um, that you have given. Um, if you're opening up a doc to put some comments in and things like that, you have access to that same comment bank across assignments. Now the final thing that I wanted to uh, to add here um, is that you can do a few fun things with your comments. Okay, um, You might notice here um, in this particular comment um, that there is a, a website address. Okay, And this is actually a really neat thing. I know it doesn't show up as a clickable link, but um, once you actually put it into a comment, um, then, uh, then you can, um, it, it will actually become a clickable link, okay? Um, so let's say here, I'm going to pull this up here, I'm going to add another comment, and we're going to add this one right here, okay? And so um, you can take a look here, so um, I have my, uh, you know, my instructions along with a um, a website that I've referenced here, so the URL is um, is in the comment. Okay, and once I post that comment, you'll notice that it has become a clickable link. So students can, when they go to their uh, comments, they can read what you have. They can even hover over to uh, see a preview of um, that link, um, and then it's just clickable for them as well uh, to be able to open up that website that you've given to them as a reference. 
Okay, so that's actually another, uh, another neat tool there uh, that you can use. Um, another thing that I really like, uh, because sometimes I like to bring attention to a certain part of the comment, right? Um, and so being able to uh, create a, a bolded section um, can come in handy so that it's not all the text is just the same. Um, there is a way for you to do some bolded text, okay? So uh, let's see here. Um, we're going to this up here. All right, we're going to add another comment. Okay, and you'll notice here, I'm going to copy this one over. You'll notice that I've put an asterisk in front of uh, this and at the end of that statement, the exclamation mark. Okay, so I've put an asterisk surrounding that. Okay, now what's going to happen is when I comment, that section is going to be bolded. So if there is a word or phrase that you want to appear in bold in a comment, surround it by an asterisk, okay? And then once you publish the comment, um, it will uh, become bolded for you, okay? So hyperlinks, putting in bolded uh, text, those are some neat things that you can do. Something else that I like to do as well is add emojis. Um, and so there's a number of ways you can do that as well. There's some great add-ons for Google Chrome that you can get um, to access emojis. On my computer, I'm able to access an emoji keyboard. Uh, so I press Control, Command, Spacebar, um, and it brings up an emoji uh, keyboard for me. Um, and so then I can just choose the emoji that I would like to add. Okay, um, and uh, so if you have a Mac, it would be the same, control, command, space bar uh, to find your um, emoji um, keyboard. Uh, but if you're on a PC, um, now I don't use a PC often, so I don't know if there's a, a keyboard shortcut that you can use, but I do know that those um, Google Chrome add-ons for inserting emojis come in really handy for that. Okay, so using emojis, um, are, uh, it's another great way to sort of bring attention to um, a comment in your comment bank when you're adding it for students. Well, hopefully you've been able to learn something new today and, and take away some uh, good pieces of information. Um, if you have any questions, for sure, add them in the comments below the video. I'd love to hear what it is that you'd like to know more information about. Um, but also just a reminder that um, if you are a, a student or a teacher or a parent and um, you are interacting with online schooling in some way this year, uh, be sure to subscribe and click that bell to get notifications of whenever I upload new content or go live. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.